Hello everybody and welcome to home. This is a indie game created by Benjamin Rivers as you can see on the screen. I know nothing about this game, only that the ending can be changed by your actions within the game, certain questions and so forth. It's a unique horror adventure according to the title screen and we will see if that is the case. So. Move left, right, and look up with the arrow key, space interact, F4, window full screen toggle, escape from the game, wear headphones, turn off the lights, all of these I am doing. All I remembered at that point was my was finding myself alone. Oh, my head. Where was I? It was so dark. There was something by my feet. A flashlight. Ah, so this is us. Go. Oh yeah. Okay, let's uh... So we're thrown in without any information at all. Hmm, I like that. That house. Where was I? What on earth? What is this? There was a body. Oh! Lying on the floor. Who was it? Oh. Okay, that kind of startled me. I believe that was a cat. So we've got stairs down, it looks like. And another door. Now, if the sound is off, I'm sorry. If the game's quiet or something, there's no sound options for this game. For the computer. The desk had a computer and some papers on it. And a single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but did I open the drawer? Yes, he did. Receipts, pens, and a blurry photo. Looked like a store of some kind. Why did this look so familiar? Ah, it's a good job I only checked, I guess. Oh. Blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of there. I don't know if we can be attacked or anything. I guess we'll find out. What was that noise? I thought I heard something. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg? I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home. Seeing Rachel, I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, trying to find a way out. Looks like we've got another downward stairs. Let's head this way. Aha. The bookshelf was full of books on its local history and hunting. Okay, so, nothing too interesting. So it looks like we can go downstairs, probably something to the left. Let's head right. What was that? An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and liqueur bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. I imagine. A black and white photo. It looked like the man upstairs and his wife, I guess. There are no reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? Yes. I slipped the photo into my pocket. Maybe this will help me find some answers. Exactly why I took it. Although I don't know what I'm dealing with here, so whether that was the right option or not, I don't know. I'm going to periodically look up, I believe. Just in case I see anything. What is this? A thin grey mouse was stuck in the trap. It looked frantic, but exhausted. Did I free it? Yes, we did. You're a nice guy. Hmm, you just ran into the, the mouse hole. Let's proceed left and see if we can find anything first. That's some tools. A collection of rusty tools. These looked like they'd seen a lot of use and were caked in damp smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? You know, that is a good question. I wouldn't normally see these now. Oh, hello. A photo similar to the old one I picked up. Ah, I see, the story has already changed because I picked up the photo. So, not only does the ending change, the story itself is slightly changing, depending on my actions, and that is really cool. It had been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? Ah. Well... In the spirit of adventuring, yes. It 
to press smoothly into the wall, we heard a faraway click somewhere. Hmm. Kind of creepy, actually. What did we hear? Let's uh, let's go check right first. I, I, it says it was far away. I don't know if that would mean it was downstairs or not. No, there is nothing here. Okay, let's head downstairs. Sounds like you can hear someone whispering every now and then. Ah. Hmm. The small dark corridors. Ooh, a mirror. I... I looked like hell. My clothes were dirty and torn. I was... There was mud caked all over my shoes. Along with blood, I guess. The front door was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. Well, that's kind of creepy. I wonder if this monster's in this game. Now, I recall there was a, a game called Lone Survivor. It looked just like this. In fact, I believe it's created from the same creator. What was that? Hello? Now, I've guess I've got no choice but to press on. But that is actually kind of scary. Wow. Um, yeah, there was a game called Lone Survivor. It seemed very Silent Hill like, uh, what would you say, sort of based. It was very good. It, it was a very good game. Um, but in that game, you could actually be killed and attacked. So, I'm wondering if it's the same in this game. Will I have to fight or run away from stuff? The door was taped up and locked. I couldn't get through. By the smell, I guessed it led to the kitchen. That switch in the wall worked. The door had been unlocked. Oh, well, how did he... I guess he just put two and two together. It looks like we've got a light. It's not very... It's not working very well. Looks like we've got a ladder down. That's very strange. The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I have found a way out. I must have moved it, right? Yes, you did. I guess he's recalling a memory. Well, I hope he's probably got amnesia. Well, we know that. I heaved the box forward, and it finally gave. There was a ladder down, going down underground, where the box was. A dank smell rose from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder? We do not have a choice. We did go down the ladder. We had to. I looked again at the photo. I found in the house. Sorry, I messed that one up. I looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. I wondered where my wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. Well, there we are. Footprints in the dirt. Look like more than one kind. And a lot of traffic. Okay. Oh, what is this? It's like some sort of map. It was an old map. Kerching of the town. Places all over were marked. The industrial area near the river, various houses, and even a water tower near the old rail station. The guy upstairs must have had, have done this. But what was his interest in the water tower? Hmm. I guess we should remember that. Ah. Newspaper clippings from the local paper. They were all about murders in the town all over the last... I keep messing up my reading. Sorry, guys. Um, wait. There were photos. Photos of our house? What the hell was that about? Maybe I should have looked around here. Um, sorry. Again. Maybe I should have looked around more. Tried to find some kind of information. You know, I'm going to... Uh, excuse me. I'm just going to back off from the screen. I'm a bit too close, and I keep messing my words up every time I go to a new line. Okay. Work table, covered in papers, dirt, and a handgun. I hated guns. I didn't take it, did I? Or oh, should we take the handgun? You know what? For safety's sake, I don't know whether there's monsters in this game. Like I said, it seems very reminiscent of this lone survivor. So I'm going to take the handgun. Even though it could be a very bad decision, he doesn't like guns, he'll probably kill someone in the innocent or hurt someone. But I'm going to take the handgun, whether it'll get me into trouble or not, simply because I don't want to die, if that be the case. So we're going deeper down. Let's, uh... Okay, we've got a door, and a desk, a ladder, books, shell, right, 
as it start examining this stuff, some kind of homemade rag strung together with poorly cut wood and rope. It was caked with old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that, did they? Rusted hooks like the kind you find in a butcher hole on the ceiling. They looked pity... Pit, pit, pitted? Ah, oh, I guess so. Pitted and worn from heavy use. That man upstairs, did he do this? Crudely made shelves. They looked like they were holding cans of some sort of corrosive. The labels were worn and slick, but I could still read the warnings. So we got a ladder down and a cage. It looked like a cage. They were small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. Well, I'm going to assume it's blood. Let's go check out what was over here before we head deeper. The desk looked old and was cracked with grimes. Paint. On it was a stack of old faded paper covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out and illegible. Notes were written beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. Me, if. Is it Heather? That could be Heather. Yeah, that would fit. Something A, Vel, R, Af, Al, Ro. None of it made any sense to me. Well, it wouldn't, would it? What is this? They look to be some bones half dug in the ground. And the remains looked old. Faded clothes that stuck up amongst the dirt looked familiar. They looked like the clothes that woman was wearing in the photo I found. Was this the man's wife? Oh my. So there was no reason to come in this room other than to discover that. Oh, I heard a hot hobby in my right earphone. Hmm. He sat down, even though I don't want to do that. Oh, here we go. Oh. D right, does this not right here, this sort of rock in front of me, does that not look like a very slender man? It kind of does. Now I'm going to start being wary, but I do have a gun. I don't think I can use it. The controls at the beginning never said anything, but I have a gun in case I needed to. Some kind of old boxers. They look like they were years old. Wait a minute. These boxes had old clothes in them. Clothes I remembered throwing out after Rachel and I moved to town. What the hell were they doing here? Yeah, that is strange. Hmm. Obviously something... What is that noise? I guess it was just bats. I remembered noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. Oh, really? I don't remember if I jumped down here, or if I found another way. It looked to be a long way. Did I jump down? No. Maybe there was some other way to get down there without risking any more injury to my leg. Well, let's think about this. Maybe he remembers it because that's how he got the injury to his leg in the first place. I'm going to leave it for now, because there's a door over here. There's more to explore. Oh, wow, what's this? There's a rope hanging bit. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. Did I take it? Yes. Maybe the rope would make that broken ladder easier to descend. Exactly. Hello? Well, there's a skeleton in the wall, and I just heard whispering to the left. Well, we're not exactly at 15 minutes yet, but I'm going to split the recording here. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and be sure there will be much more. In fact, I'm going to start episode 2 straight away. So, keep an eye out for that, and thank you so much for watching.